There's an old, the old Chinese proverb we're all used to, may we live in interesting times, which I actually have learned is actually the, a curse, not a, a blessing, but curse or blessing. I'm not sure which one is the whole confluence of big data and cloud and mobile. Perhaps it's a little bit of both. Uh, I'm going to look at it through the lens of security for a moment and speak briefly about that. And even through the lens of security, there's a number of angles here. Um, there are the new security challenges of how do we secure these large data sets, and there are some unique aspects of trying to secure large data sets. The pairing of data sometimes becomes sensitive where the individual pieces of data would not have been sensitive, as an example. Uh, there's the Pearl Harbor effect on uh, large data sets that it becomes a very large glaring target for an organization um, when a lot of data is put together. You're often having to transport data across large um, uh, swaths of a network because it's very difficult to kind of move some of these elements and how you can combine them. Large data sets are often owned, pieces of it are owned by different groups, and how do you preserve the integrity and privacy and confidentiality of those while you're trying to glean new insights across those? But those actually aren't the aspects of security that I thought was more interesting and I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to speak about is um, how can we leverage some of the big data advances to actually address the security problem as opposed to what are the sort of unique problems created by big data. Um, let me start with this premise. From a security perspective, today we basically are in a state of comp compromise. Uh, I would venture to say there probably isn't an organization in this room who your network or your systems, there isn't some level of compromise in your systems. It doesn't mean that there's been an exfiltration of data inside your organizations, but there probably is some credential that has been compromised. There is some system that is infected with something. That's a substantial statement. And actually, within our, we have an operations center that does, uh, on behalf of some of the large clients, look at uh, reverse engineers, things like Trojans, et cetera, to identify drop zones. And we have found credentials from probably 60% of the Fortune 500 just in a handful of drop zones. So, we do live in a state of compromise, which doesn't necessarily mean that we live in a state of a constant loss. But the challenge is really rapidly becoming how do we secure organizations despite the fact that some of our systems are compromised. Uh, maybe taking a step back and just defining the problem we're trying to solve, if security ultimately is how do we ensure that only the right people have access to the right kind of sensitive information or transactions and can do so over an infrastructure that we can trust, then really what we establish is a set of controls for either identity, to make sure you are who you say you are, and that uh, you, you know, we understand what you're allowed to do and where you're allowed to go. Information controls, which ultimately access controls to data itself as opposed to applications. And infrastructure controls, ensuring the integrity of the endpoint or of the network or of a workload or application stack. And this, I'll let me call the control layer, the three eyes of the control layer. And then uh, another layer sitting on top of that, think about it as the management layer. Two elements to that. One is governance, risk, and compliance. Our compliance, our uh, GRC teams, or risk teams that we often have in organizations, which are really about how do we define the policies we're going to govern our environment by. And in the world of cloud and mobile, now that extends to what is our policy for how our supply chain, our now uh, infrastructure supply chain, should be governed. How do we map those policies to the controls themselves? And how do we measure where we are at any given moment against those? And that's quite a different set of challenges from the security operations team, which is we have all of these controls set up. How are we going to detect and investigate and respond to threats and attacks that circumvent these controls? And that's sort of one lens to look at the security landscape and the sort of the set of security technologies. And there are, I would venture to say, three major disruptors to this whole way of doing things. Two of them really relate to the infrastructure itself, mobile and cloud. And there is something very common. In some ways, there are sort of two sides of the same coin here that what it really represents from a security perspective is now trying to figure out how do you secure something, how do you secure a layer of infrastructure which you, in some sense, no longer directly manage or own or control, right? Whether it's the bring your own device and increase.